हेलो हैप्पी एंड स्मार्ट डेवलपर्स वेलकम टू द कोडिंग बोट दिस इज सीरीज ऑफ एच टी एम एल प्रैक्टिस टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न फ्यू मोर टैक्स ऑफ एच टी एम एल सो लेट्स बिगिन दिस सेशन आई हैव ऑलरेडी रिटर्न वन बेसिक स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एच टी एम एल डॉक्यूमेंट वेयर फर्स्ट लाइन डिक्लेयर्स डॉक टाइप ऑफ एच टी एम एल टू ब्राउजर देन वी हैव एच टी एम एल हेडिंग and then at line number 10 we are having closing of html tag within html opening and closing we have two important sections head section and body section in body section i have written one message the coding bot so let's save the code and observe in browser the coding bot this is our message now suppose i want to change i want to add color or i want to add background then how i can do it we can do it using attributes provided by html okay so let's move ahead text is equals to blue text sorry wrong place i have mentioned in body section we have text attribute whose color is blue okay text is one attribute equals to then within closing opening and closing double quotes we have blue tag blue blue name let's save the code and observe now color of the text is in blue now i want to change background color how we can change background color with the help of bg color equals to orange and save the code and refresh orange is background color okay and color is the coding bot is in blue tag blue color now suppose i want to add some image how we can do that we can do this with the help of adding background image tag background is equals to image dot jpg save the code and refresh got it what happened background image is there but it is repeating so what we will do see see its original size 100 correct we will make it 125 see every time its background image is repeating again and again to overcome this problem in style attribute style attribute of html we have repeat background repeat colon repeat and semicolon let's check once here mistake is done okay now now it's correct save the code and refresh again it is repeating means some changes is there it's not repeat is no repeat no repeat save the code and refresh okay so in this way we can create background color then we can set background and then we can set 
name in as per our requirement now the most important thing which i need to discuss in this session is how to write tax related to html and how to write properties related to css observe carefully okay this is very very helpful if you understand this then definitely it will be very very helpful for you so how to write html attribute within html document see here in suppose we are writing html attribute in body tag then in body after writing body space name of html attribute and then equal to symbol now it's value within double quote end of semi end of double quote and then here we need to give some space okay understood uh, let me repeat once again first within body tag suppose body suppose within body tag we are writing some html attribute then in html attribute we will write its name and then equal to symbol and then value of that particular html attribute okay and how to write css property in html document how to write css property let's say we are using style then equal to within double quote opening and double quote closing we can write property css property name css property name colon its value and then semicolon okay so here basically what happen we are in style attribute in style attribute we have css property name we have css property name and we have value there is no then end of the entire value of this style property okay so basically in html style we write attributes and in css we write properties so that's it in this session let's meet in another session thank you